So I spend hours, maybe even days of my life, tediously soldering, screwing in, bolting, testing, all for this one moment, these few hours of flight, and if it doesn't work, six months of my life are wasted. So there's incredible pressure to make sure everything works, but there's always that thought in the back of your mind is, what's actually gonna happen up there? First time uh, in about 50 years, we're getting low frequency sound measurements directly from the stratosphere, and we're potentially able to record signals that don't make it to the ground, and we're able to record signals that happen much further away. An important thing is to understand the similarities and differences between sound on the ground and sound in the air so that we can use these ground arrays, which are much easier and much less expensive to deploy to place constraints on what's going on in the stratosphere. Balloons are difficult to fly, uh, difficult to land safely, and require a great deal of engineering to do right. So what HASP has allowed me to do is take an idea I've had for the last few years and, and make it work, realize it. You can definitely do bigger things with a project like this than you can do with just a small team uh, working on your own. For me as an amateur balloon builder, it's really a privilege to be around the experts and watch them work and watch the decisions they make. The CSBF technicians have really given me a lot of insight into what works and what doesn't work during the balloon launch. We're very excited, we're very nervous, we're hoping everything goes right, but things proceed slowly and very methodically. So it's the sense of kind of hurry up and wait that's been building for actually about a year and it all comes to a head at this point when you're sitting there watching the balloon get ready. I think HASP fills a very important role by making stuff like this possible. We never could have uh, done this without the, you know, the vehicle that they provided and their collective expertise. I'm grateful for this opportunity, for sure. Until the moment that you plug the disc into the computer and look, you still don't know if everything worked. It's an incredible relief. After that, I have a few hours of not knowing what to do with myself because I've, uh, focus so much energy into this and then once it works and it's back you kind of sit back and think well now what the truth is you have another year scratching your head trying to figure out what you recorded up there and what it means but uh for that precious few hours there's kind of a pause when you say it worked the sense of seeing things that no one else has seen before you're listening for sounds that you didn't know existed before that moment makes the times when things go wrong and they do Worth it.